Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first lab program of uh, mobile application development and we have to make a visiting card so we will be discussing the details of it and before that you need to download android studio so go to google type android studio and there will get a link to download the android studio go to it and download and make sure your uh, system is having 8 gb of ram and 1 tb of storage for its proper functionality and um, Yeah, there you click and uh, download Android Studio. So it will get downloaded. Do the setup part. Just click next, next, next and uh, set up in your system. And uh, make sure you are ready with it. And uh, since I have downloaded, I will start with the program. Here the first question is to create a, a visiting card. Design a visiting card which has the company name at the top left and the logo at the top right. And uh, below it are the name, a job title and uh, member address and other details email address so that things we have to add so it's just the xml part here there is no java part in the first program so we have to design it in the uh, design layout okay so just uh, i'm searching android studio and opening it once it has opened you will get three options new project open get from vcs you have to click new project and um, since I have made this one for the practice purpose but I will be starting from the beginning so I will click on new project. Then come down and you have to select empty activity. First go to new project then select empty activity. Then click on next. Here you have to give your application name. So since it is the first program I am giving the visiting card as the application name. And um, you can see the package name as well, save location, language. And make sure if it's the first time change the language to Java and uh, minimum SDK as Android Lollipop, then click finish. So once the project is ready, it will look as follows and it will take some time to load the dependencies if, if it's for the first time. When these things are loaded, it will look as follows and you got to go to the uh, activity main XML part because uh, the Java part has no, um, means we don't have to do anything with Java part. And there you can see the devices so you have to pair the device using wi-fi or uh, connect using the cable or download a virtual device for that you have to download some dependencies so i'm going with the uh, connection with wi-fi so in the end i'll be showing you how the output looks like in the left part you can see there are some uh, folders here yeah the main thing is about the java to write the java code logic part and the activity main xml there we have uh, we have to design means buttons and images and the text how it is to be shown so click on activity main xml and uh, there is the layout we have three options code split and design at the top right corner so that will show us the code of xml as well or just the design part or both and this is the code part so first you, what you got to do is remove this one and write relative layout if you type R-E-L-A, -E you will get an option, just click it and you will be ready to go. Go to the design part and uh, we have to add some text views. How is the outlook is, we need to have 5 text views, 4 for the bottom, for, uh, 1 for the top uh, left for showing the uh, company name. So just hold and drop the text view from the palette and copy it 4 times, Control c Control v and you will have those texts in the top left corner of the design uh, section and you have to drag it and drop it into the appropriate locations before that you have to make the connections so we will ma make the connection by clicking that uh, text link and holding it down and dragging it till the bottom like this and same thing we have to do one more side so i'll do for the right side so click on the right side hold it and uh, drag it till the right end and then you can drag it okay like that you have to drag and uh, place in the appropriate places then our next step is to add the uh, logo so you have to download the logo from google dot png file and save it in small letter formats and after you have downloaded it just go to palette and um, just copy paste the logo means control c from the desktop where you have saved it and go to the res folder in the right side and go to drawable just click on it and con click control v so it will get pasted in that area just click ok and rename the logo as just your college name you don't put any hyphen and all <coughs> then click ok 
Now you are ready. You can see in the palette you have the image view as well. Just hold it and drag it till the uh, place where you have to place it. And uh, as you can see, you have the logo. So just select it and click OK, and the logo will be displayed. You can set the size easily. Just drag it from the bottom right diagonally, and it will get smaller. And make sure you um, drag and drop till the bottom and the right parts and after that you will hold and drop it here so the logo is ready now our uh, next task is to write the names so you will go to the attribute section in that uh, top right there you have attribute section there what we have to do is you have to edit the text for each of these what it's uh, now as now showing as hello world you have to uh, edit it just uh, select it and go to the attribute section search there as text so you'll get an option to edit the text. So just edit the text as um, VVC. I am typing my college name. You can type your college name. And coming to the bottom part, you have text size as well. If you search, set it as a bigger font and place it. Then the, do the same thing for the remaining four as well. So add your name, your phone number, your designation in the email address. After I have added that, now our last step which is remaining is to add a border. Okay, means a separator line. For the separator line, what we are going to do is we are creating another view. Just search view, we will get a view there. Just hold and drop it. After you have hold and dropped the view, you have to resize the view. Okay. So for resizing, just go to layout uh, height and uh, here you have to type as uh, 10. Sorry, you have to uh, mark it as match parent. So uh, I have not done it in a proper way. So I got the address at the end, but you have to type their match parent and leave it as such. Okay. Uh, you got to just drag and make its size smaller. That's what you have to do. Okay, it will look like this if you drag and uh, drop this, uh, drag and uh, make the size smaller. So after this, you have to go to the background and uh, edit its color. Make sure the view is selected search background you'll get the background color set the color as you wish and then you click ok so yeah that's all what is there and this is the final output and let's see how it looks in the system and this is the final output and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one